<laughs> this is how you increase your lifted truck gas mileage, guys. Let's go. It's honestly a pretty nice day out today. I'm wearing shorts and everything, but it's whatever. So let's see what the highest we can get this thing to go to is. All right, I thought 60 was All right, 70. We're doing it, guys. Gotta increase that gas mileage, you know, and there's my tread. You can see the middle is very, very nice, and then the outer ends are horrible. These are fierce altitude mud terrain tires. They were made in 2013. We bought them for a really cheap price, actually. And I guess it's filling. I don't hear it going in, but I guess it is. You know what? I'm feeling generous. I'm going to give a little mercy to these tires. I'm just going to take them up to 67. Yeah, this is kind of dangerous, but I kind of want the best gas mileage I can get. The ride quality is going to suck. All right, now check out the inner portion of these rear tires. Yeah, they're completely shot on the inside. I was running them at like 35 PSI, maybe a little less actually, like 28. That was a bad idea, and that's what ruined these tires, but it's whatever. They look atrocious now. I do need a set of new tires, so if anyone wants to send me a pair of new tires for my birthday, uh, <laughs> go for it, man. Backside on the left side, but the weird thing about this camera is is that it's very obvious that you're holding a big camera like this. With GoPro, people don't really notice, but this, pretty noticeable. Got a lot of people looking. So the one thing I do like about these tires, as opposed to the other ones, is these are made in the USA, man. Look at that road salt. It ain't even touching my frame because I coated 20,000 layers of undercoating. Yeah, this is the hands-free airing up the Silverado test. This is exactly what you need to do to get better gas mileage. Completely fill your tires up to the brim. All right, guys, so I was going to head in from right here to get my triple cheeseburger deluxe, but there's a car behind me once again, so I'm going to have to head to parking spot real quick. So realistically, we got 65, 66 in the front, 67, 66 in the rear. Gas-wise, yeah, I'm on E, so I got to get gas soon, and that is right now. Here we go, hopping back on the highway. I remember a long time ago I first started driving. I actually was just driving this truck. It was completely stock and everything. My friends wanted to all meet at this buffet down the highway south a little bit. I was just not able to do it i just couldn't do it i couldn't get myself to drive on the highway crazy how time flies man man i sure love these wayfarer sunglasses man they're actually very good quality just saw third gen cummins dually for sale let me know if you guys would be interested in a cool dually build i'd definitely do some 40 inch tires or something crazy on it got to get some big wheel spaces for that though okay 259 at bj is not too bad not too shabby definitely the best in the area so i'm gonna have to take it anyway you know what would be pretty innovative for a big gas station like this one if they just had a big screen on top of this bar here where everyone is at according to how many gallons they filled and money they put into their tank so then you'd really know and give a good judgment about who's almost finished so you could drive behind them you got to be a member at this gas station to get gas which i am so it's going to be pretty awesome i'm going to get the cheapest gas in the area i'm not really sure on how to time lapse on my new camera so i'm probably just going to hop out here and fill her up for you let's go see ya All right, guys, so it was 61 bucks for actually 23 gallons. I thought this was a 22 gallon tank, but I was wrong. So let's head on out. We got one more stop to make here and something very important, something I was actually gonna do first when I said in the beginning of this video. Second gen bot. The second gen was a revolutionary pickup truck. It was a breakthrough for its time, especially with all the aftermarket stuff you can do with it. And I would definitely want to do a second gen 12 valve build someday. It would be very nice to do that with you guys. And I'd also would want to build up a mud truck and that might actually be that truck. I'm not really sure yet, but I know they're getting rarer and rarer. So I wouldn't want to beat the living pice out of it, but it'd be cool to have a manual one as well. Manual, extended cab, short bed, second gen 12 valve. That's the that's the holy grail in my book. I know the four-door second gens are very rare, but I'm not really that much of a fan of four-door. I could always opt for the extended cab, but of course, if someone gave me the four-door, being how rare it was, I'd love it so much. Damn, that power stroke was sick, man. Those are some cool wheels, and it was lifted it up. Definitely wouldn't have went bigger on the wheels and tires, but still, that thing was cool. Here's a pretty cheap diesel for my Area 319. All right, guys, so I'm here at the post office because I'm going to mail my request out to Inchain Designs. All right, see ya. All right, we are back once again. We handed it out, and yep, we're all good to go. So it is sketchier to be able to get those shots outside because I have to put the camera down. Definitely heavier, so yeah, let's go. 
Man, it's crazy. When it's sunny and 40 degrees out, it actually feels warm compared to what it usually is because I know, I think it's actually, yeah, two days from now, it's gonna be 26 degrees and windy, so it's probably gonna feel like 20 degrees. So right now, it's actually pretty warm. It's not too bad. Driving in this offset time from when I usually drive, and that's around rush hour or 9 a.m. in the morning, so much better. I hate traffic so much. I'm always in it. But today, it's a little bit different, so I kind of like it. It's very easy, not much traffic. Everything's always moving. You know, I kind of wish I had an unlimited amount of trucks so then I could drive the fuck out of them. As much as I like to drive my trucks, I want them to last forever. So it's very hard to see the mileage counter go up. That's why I kind of keep it on instant econ so I can just see my gas mileage and drive as efficiently as possible. But I want to one day just park these in the back in the backyard somewhere and just let them grow in and then I'll always have them. Oh, look at that customary F-150, F-250. F-350, 350. <laughs> Sorry guys, it's been a long day. Oh. And there she is, the big old Ram 2500 coming 67. Man, you just gotta love that truck. So I'm just gonna run in real quick, gotta get the essentials, so stay tuned. We are back once again. Let me just get this seatbelt on real quick. And also, I grabbed another energy, so now we got double the energy. Oh snap, sorry about that. <laughs> So I remember when I first started vlogging, I was just, I was very, very, I don't know, I no, sh never showed any emotion or anything. I was always very, very, very serious about it. Check out that truck. I was always very, whoa, big load, man. I was always very serious about it, and I showed no emotion at all. I was taking a lot of pauses. I was saying, um, uh, er. It was just horrible. It was absolutely terrible. And that's why I deleted a lot of that crap. Another thing that I don't like about this camera is that I have to have the microphone plugged in a certain way. If it's turned a little bit, then only one, it's left or right, and only the left, I think, will actually pick up noise. Nice Toyota. Yeah, it's actually lifted pretty high. Otherwise, I'd say it sucks. So I just wanted to check it out, what it looked like back here, because it said there was houses for sale, and it's a very woodsy place. Whoa, that is actually pretty nice. Got a lot of cool stuff back here. Looks like they're still building it up. Yep, still got a lot of lots for sale. And it looks like you could probably off-road right there. Well, 1.29 acres. Very, very new houses back here. Not necessarily the amount of land that I'd want. Of course, a nice house like this would be cool, but I would sacrifice house for land any day. Any day house down there too well didn't know this was all up here it's pretty cool pretty cool <laughs> oh someone threw some pumpkins back there okay I'm just here for a pick thumbnail this could also be a thumbnail you know, named So once the Cummins mod comes in the mail, I'll be handling that pronto. I'm going to make a video for you guys, and I'm probably going to make an update video on how much the Silverado build cost, because the last video got a lot of attention, and I did not do as many things as I have on this truck now. So that's probably a good idea to make a little update video on that. 
but as of right now, I'm here at the lake. Finally made it after a long drive, did a lot of traveling today, got a lot of stuff done. So whenever that comes in the mail though, I will make a video on that and I want to continue the mods. Been handling a lot of stuff lately, but I will have a lot of time soon. And then we'll be able to finally get down to business here and get mods, drink all the energy. But yeah, I already have heaters and everything, so it's no problem at all. Definitely do a test drive after each and every one of them. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe so I can see you next video. Until next time, take it easy. Let me know if you guys prefer this camera over the GoPro.